Hello! I'm Elaine, and I'm a tour guide in the French Quarter. I do ghost tours. And I am not going to tell you the stories that I tell on my tour, because you gotta pay for those. But if you want to hear some interesting things that have happened to me while I'm leading random drunk people around the French Quarter, I got you. Another thing you'll see a lot of if you're down in the French Quarter late at night is people releasing bodily fluids. Uh, peeing and pooping is disturbingly common on the side of the roads in the French Quarter. Part of that is because there are no public restrooms open in the French Quarter after 6 p.m. Past that point, if you want to pee, you're going to have to buy something. You're going to have to go into a bar. And that means that as tour guides, I think we have all seen bits of anatomy we do not want to see. I have a very clear memory of there was one lady that I saw pooping down in the French Quarter three nights running. Once I was just out playing Pokemon after a tour and was sitting on a stoop and this lady comes up and poops into the gutter directly in front of me. And literally all I could say was at least it was the gutter, so it wasn't on the sidewalk. But then the very next night I was out there doing a stop, doing a tour, and my group, I've literally just done the introduction and the first story, and we're heading to the second stop. And I turn and walk maybe a foot before my mind registers that what I'm seeing directly in front of me, on the sidewalk, in the middle of Jackson Square, one of the most tourist-heavy spots in the entire city, this woman has dropped trow and is just pooping on the sidewalk. And right when we turn, it's like she was waiting for us. She stands up, like, with the pants still down so we can see everything, and turns and walks away. And I was like, cool. And sadly, it seems my guests were not, like, cool, because when I arrived at the next location, like, half of them were gone. But peeing is more common. I have seen so many people pee. One of my favorites was one night I was filling out my reports after a tour because we have to fill out a report to tell people what happened on the tour just in case anything important happened. Like if a guest fell down or if somebody left early or if shirtless Shane threatened us with a knife. That way we'd know, like the office would know if they needed to like make apologies for anything. But there was this one night I was filling out my reports and I was leaning up back against one of the houses and a guy came up and looked at me and asked, hey, do you live here? And my response was, I mean, I live in New Orleans. I don't live at this house. And he said, oh, cool. And immediately turned, pulled down his zipper, pulled out his member and peed against the building I was standing against. And all I could say was at least he was polite enough to make sure it wasn't my house. Uh, but my other favorite story of peeing on the sidewalk was a night that I was once again filling out my tour reports. The weirdest things happened in those moments. And I was sitting on a stoop. And this lady came up and sat next to me. And as often happens when somebody comes up and sits down and talks to me, I sort of just smile and go, hi. And she first, like, is talking to me. She's like, oh, hi, it's nice to see you. And she complimented me or something. I don't remember. But I just sort of, like, go, okay, and politely dismissive and go back to what I'm doing. And she continues talking to me because she is clearly so drunk she cannot register social signals. So I'm just sort of ignoring it and moving on. But she is talking to me and being like, oh yeah, New Orleans is nice. And then every now and then in the middle of a sentence, she'd stop and be like, oh, it's coming out of me. And of course, after like the first time she does this, I sort of look over and I'm like, okay. But she continues conversation as normal. And she's asking like, oh, do you live down here? I'm like, well, not down in the French Quarter. Oh, it's coming out of me. This happens like three times before I look over and happen to look down and realize that she is peeing on the stoop, as in the same stoop I'm sitting on. And no, she has not pulled down her dress. She has not pulled up her dress. She has, as far as I can tell, not pulled off her underwear. So just pulling, peeing through everything. And there is a very large puddle developing very close to me. And I suddenly decide I need to be elsewhere. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for listening.